a fatty brisket I got my barbecue shoes on Gonna smoke me a fatty brisket I got my barbecue shoes on I got my natural case I've got the hogs on the Barbecue pitboys.com. Today we're smoking and butter poaching some fish at the pit, and it's real easy to do. All right, the opening of fishing season is strong. Jitterbug got himself a stringer, and we've got some fresh trout here, including rainbows, brookies, and browns. Oh, yeah, there's going to be some good eat. All right, we're going to smoke these up. And uh, you can prep the fish the way you want. Some will just throw the fish as is on the uh, smoker. But uh, you can also season it up a bit. We've got some maple syrup. We've got some uh, bourbon seasoning, off-the-shelf seasoning. Use what flavorings you like. Oh, man, this is going to be good. And this will be on the smoker now for maybe three or four hours. It's all up to you. All right, so we're hitting it here with some seasoning, and here's some maple syrup. Mm, man. If you haven't had smoked trout before, you definitely got to check this out, or even salmon, whatever you got. All right, the trout have been seasoned and flavored, and we're just going to bring it to the smoker. Now, you could do this on a smaller kettle, but uh, since we've got about 13 pounds of trout to smoke up, we're using a bigger smoker, and we're running a temperature of about uh, maybe 200 degrees, 225 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to go low and slow, like I said, for three or four hours. Mm. All right, good enough to eat already, I'd say. <laughs> Nothing left to do now but kick back and watch the time go by. Now for snacking, we're going to take a couple of these trout and we're going to be butter poaching them on the grill. So we'll just do a quick clean out here. You know about that, right? <laughs> or you go to your fishmonger, he'll clean them out for you. But these here are fresh caught just down the river. Mm -mm. Nothing like smoking trout and frying trout at the pit. Gutting them out. Get the blood vein out of there. We're good. Now, after about an hour and a half or so, they're looking real good. Look at that. Can you smell that? It smells good. Oh, yeah. Now we're about two hours into this and we're just going to flip these uh, trout, get that even cooking on, going on. Man. Now, for snacking, we're going to be butter poaching some of these, so we've got some bacon going on there, putting some butter, we've got some diced onion, we've got some garlic. Do it the way you like it, frying your fish. And we'll just cut these heads off, make them look real pretty. Oh. Now we're going to season these uh, before uh, poaching them in butter. Again, that's all up to you. A little butter, a little garlic, a little seasoning, it's good. Put a couple pads of butter in each uh, fish. I can hear the food police now. Oh, yeah. We'll eat your heart out. Food police, vegematics, just move on. This is where it's done. Slices of bacon, kind of pre-cooked. Throw them in there. 
because this is not going to take long at all. Now we just turn this pan around. Again, get that even cooking going on because we got the uh, charcoal on one side kind of indirect. You set your grill up any way you want, but this is real easy to do. Bam. Give them a flip. Now, a great thing about trout, some of you might know, is uh, you don't have to remove the scales. The skin will fall away, and you don't have to uh, remove the bones, because the bones will pull away. You just throw it on the grill like this, and poach it. And in a miracle of time, these trout have been butter poached. I say it's time to eat. Now, the fish still been smoking. Look at that. We're gonna pull them off the grill. Like I said, these have taken about four hours at 225 degrees Fahrenheit. They'll come out real juicy. You've been uh, getting tired of the same old, same old fish. You definitely gotta check this out. Always want to make plenty, right? Keep some in the reef fridge. You can pick at it all week long. And how about that cheap meat? Yeah. That's pitmaster privilege right there. Cool. And of course, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this, but this is what we call pitmaster privilege. See how that skin pulls away? how the meat pulls away from the bone. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com. Oh, baby! <laughs>